Hey everyone, I got another fan, one more for tonight that I haven't, that I just got. This here is actually, for those that you, of you that think this is a can arm, this is actually an HRS heat recovery system and it says so right there, Carmel, Indiana. So, but yeah, HRS was known to rebrand, buy up from other industrial fan companies and rebrand them. And Canarm was one of them. They even branded uh, Enviro fans too. You know, doing both gold lines and uh, old silver lines. When silver lines used to be cast motor, they, look, they used to look like the modern gold lines, but with a flat bottom. But this is actually really a can arm, which I know is a Canadian company. And uh, it's got the exact motor, the gold stripe, cone-shaped canopy, everything. This one's got an electrical cord, so you can just plug it right on into the ceiling outlet. But yeah, I love this thing. So I'm actually, this is actually a little bit of a tribute to coal where I actually am gonna try this with the, uh, with the Evergo, the Montgomery Ward, the Evergo five-speed control. I'm gonna see what an industrial reacts like. We're gonna start with low. Let's see what I get out of uh, this type of control. The Evergo is beautiful because it matches. But I'd like to see what this does. I'll let it pick up speed. Yeah, when I talk about coal, I'm talking about uh, Cole Semenko, I think his name is, something like that, Live, who's out in uh, Fargo, North Dakota. He's got huge fan collection. He's been collecting since he was a kid, working on fans for so long. Yeah, this one has a little bit of a wobble swings a little bit but not bad low actually I thought uh, I thought transformer base controls would give a much uh, faster low but this is not bad this is not bad I would accept this for a low yeah I mean this is this is a little more of a low medium but but I would accept this. Let's uh, go up one more. Okay. All right, yep, this is definitely a low medium. Because I know Cole, he likes to in demonstrate industrials with a five-speed control, so I figured since I finally got one with that Evergo spinner that I previously did a video for, with that Montgomery Ward actually, it's a matching control to that, so I figured why not try it. Let's go up to medium. Yeah, steel blades, so this is not bad. I would consider using this kind of control on it. Okay, let's uh, go up to medium high. So this would be, uh, be a tad under high, so that Yeah, if you don't want it to be fully blasting. This is about the speed that the uh, the Union uh, Gold Lines went that were one amp motors in the kind of mid to late 70s. The ones when they started the Gold Line version with the point. 
that was the first era of them with that. Okay, let's do high, which is number one there. Oh yeah, quite a difference. This control, I keep saying, I can't stop saying, this control works beautifully. I mean, this industrial reacts very nicely on it. And this thing does give off a good amount of air. I could either put this in my bedroom, I'd have to, I don't want to take the cord off, I might just do a female end plug end on the socket, on the ceiling socket, and put the slope ceiling adapter that way, there's, uh, you can just plug it right on into that, and uh, same with the gold line. So, this thing yeah, is very nice. Now, I'm, for the most part, I'm keeping it, but this is also on hand in case if I do find a really cool industrial, like something old, like a new fan or an old gold line, that they may tell me it don't work anymore and they were going to replace it, or if, if I want it, I'd have this to replace it with if I want something, want a cool fan from a store or a, a shop or so, but okay. Time for spin down. Okay, this could be a while since, uh, since. I know this has got steel blades, so. Yeah, this actually, Dan Newman found this one for me at a at his Habitat shopping that he did, and just like he found me these lights. And uh, I, I traded him the little Emerson, that little Emerson designer series that was like 36 inch not exactly as much of a use to me even though it's a cool fan I would get something bigger I would prefer like a full-size Emerson but it's still a cool fan but yeah it swings on spin down so yeah it does have need a little bit of balancing if I was gonna install this so Yeah, but this is uh, not a really old fan. This is only like 10 years old, early 2000s. A can arm from that era, so. And can arms are pretty decent fans, pretty decent industrials, if you ask me. So. Okay, gotta be getting close, but this is just like my tat. All right, yeah, well, that is the HRS Industrial, which is a relabeled can arm. So other than that, thank you for watching.